Alrighty guys, well welcome to day 30. It's the, the last day of intermittent fasting. I am in the parking lot at work again. Not in my truck, but uh, yeah, I didn't do anything with my truck today. So um, tomorrow morning I'm going to uh, try one last time to jump it. Um, my husband bought some kind of a charging, battery charging device type thing. So we'll try and charge it, jump it one more time tomorrow. If it does charge, and so I can jump it, then we'll take it and get a new battery tomorrow morning. If it doesn't do anything, then I'm going to have my husband figure out how to get it towed to a place that they can work on it um, so that I can go and get it on Tuesday. <sighs> Frustration. But anyway, um, yeah, so I... The, okay, so weight, weigh-in day. Um, 2.8 pounds. So down 2.8 pounds from um, the beginning of the diet challenge. So that's great. That's almost 3 pounds. Um, if you were to do that for the course of an entire year, that'd be almost, I mean, it'd be over 30 pounds. Um, so that would, that would be awesome. So anyways, that's good. That's a good result. Um, do a final video on you know, whether it was a sustainable type of concept or not, and that kind of thing. Finish out the last of the 30 days today. I brought, let's see, oh, I asked my husband to make um, one of the meals from Dr. Furman's website. Basically, you take a spaghetti squash and beans of some sort, which they say kidney beans, I'm not sure what kind he used, and um, make it Mexican-y flavored. So... Uh, chili powder, cumin, that kind of thing. And then you um, make guacamole, which he didn't make their guacamole. He made the way he would make guacamole, <clears throat> which is fine. Anyway, so you serve the spaghetti squash warm and maybe the beans warm. I'm not sure. And put guacamole on top of it. Well, he put the beans with the guacamole, so that part won't be warm, but that's okay. Not too worried about that. So person is trying to back up. They're not be doing a very good job. They just need to turn their steering wheel and go. It wouldn't be that hard. Uh, anyway, so they, um, he, he made that for supper. So I'm going to eat that. And I brought, um, a slice of pumpkin pie to have with that. And then what else did I bring? Oh, and then I brought some rice with cabbage, no salad, but, um, I was really excited about having the stir fried cabbage. I asked Anthony, I was like, do you think the boys are going to mind if I take their cabbage? And he goes, oh, and won't. <laughs> so anyways, the little ones, he eats what's served because that's what's for food, but he's not a big fan of Brussels sprouts and cabbage and the type of vegetables that they can actually eat. He's not a huge fan of, which bummer because that's what he can eat. So he can eat a lot of the cruciferous vegetables. Well, not a lot, but he can eat some of them. Um, and so those are the types of vegetables, you know, you, you eat what your body will allow you to digest and process appropriately. So if you're sensitive and you can't have dairy or you're sensitive and you can't have wheat or sensitive and can't have whatever, you don't eat those things. Well, unfortunately, when it's a fruit and a vegetable, meh, stinks. But there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that they can't eat and very few that they can, which is kind of a shame. But we make do with what we can. So somebody else over there is having their uh, car towed. I think it's actually a, yeah, it's a suburban SUV-ish truck type something or other. Pretty big vehicle. But they're getting towed out of the parking lot right now. Um, I don't think they're towed because they are did something wrong. I think they're just getting towed because their vehicle won't start. It's contagious. Beware. Just kidding. Alrighty. Well, I have to go into work. Um... I am going to leave work early tomorrow, so I probably won't be able to video on my way home. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I am going to be busy tomorrow morning. So hopefully my day video does not end here because a five minute video is kind of boring. But if it does, it does. So anyways, um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will hopefully talk to you again later. And if not, I will see you in the next challenge. Bye. All right, guys, so I don't come to you like this very often, but I have my contacts out and my glasses on, which I do like 
never. I always have my contacts in. And my makeup is off completely. So my face is all nice and red from the cleaning solution stuff. And there's a picture that we bought. Kind of funky, huh? Meh. We were into collecting art, original artwork for a while. Whatever. Anyways, I think it's worth something, but I don't remember. I don't remember how much. I don't know. Anyways, so I don't remember if I told you. This is kind of a funny, amusing story. So I know I've told you in the past that the cat has been kind of picking on the dog before he, we had him put down and that I kind of was under the impression that sick animals would be good to other animals. Like animals that knew another animal was sick would be gentle with them or whatever and the cat's just been obnoxious with him for months now. So we were downstairs and the, um, good morning you, go take a shower after you say good morning to daddy. Uh, we were downstairs and we heard this loud thunk upstairs and um, I was like, oh geez, because Preston was in the shower. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope he's okay. So Anthony came up to take care of, to check it out. And um, yeah, no, the cat had knocked Kazi's um, cedar chest that we got him put into um, off the edge of the bathtub onto the floor. Even, even when he's dead, she's still picking on him. <laughs> what a butts. Anyways, um, so yeah, I am going to say goodnight to my little boy real quick. Come here. I am going to bed. I'm exhausted. I love you, buddy. This is my little man. Okay. You go take a shower, okay? Okay. All right. Love you. See you later. Anyways, so yeah, I just thought that was kind of amusing that the cat is still a bully. Even when she's the only animal in the house, she's still bullying the only animal left. But so anyways, uh, yeah, so that's it for me. I'm going to lay here and relax for a little bit. My husband's going to finish a shower. And uh, then I'm going to bed. I'm ready for bed and not ready for school today at all. So hopefully my other two boys that are in here to say goodnight to me, obviously, that's why they came in, um, will be able to handle their schoolwork on their own. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys in an update video very soon. And we'll be on to the next 30-day challenge here pretty quick.